Welcome to another podcast, The Gary Cast, The Immigrants. Today we have a lovely guest, uh, Jaime Galdames, directly from uh, Chile. A very nice, uh, nice man. Thank you, guys. Friend, uh, friend who comes by often at, at work, and uh, today we're going to interview him and see what was the reason he came here, and, uh, and that's what about uh, this podcast. I do it uh, quite often. That's <coughs> the episode number seven, if I'm. I've, I'm correct, and uh, we interview different people from different places who are currently living in Ore, like you and like me, mm -hmm. and uh, we share the experience of the difficulties and the, the good part, the bad part of moving and the reasons and things like that, and you're going to show to, to my, my guests, my lovely guests, uh, a little bit of your life, uh, things you've done before and things you've done here. And uh, how is everything going? Thank you so much for coming. No, it's no problem. Thank you for inviting me. It's a pleasure Thomas. again. Yeah. So, uh, where, where are you from, uh, Jaime? I'm from Valparaíso, Chile. Valparaíso, uh, Chile. Yes, the city of the wind. Nice. It's a lot of wind there, huh? Yes, especially the place I come from. It's at the top in the mountain. So, you know, Valparaíso have uh, 40 hills. Okay. Um, Playa Ancha is the more closer to the ocean and this all the time is wind it's a very uh, I, i've been there in uh, in chile myself in the, in the middle told, of the chile me, for yes. a month i remember Valparais was really uh, artistic scene so it was a lot of uh, painting graffiti yes exactly around the city and the time i was there i had this uh, fiesta dos tambores yeah, 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 every, yeah, yes. It's like a carnival. A it's local. like a batucada, more Brazilian batucada. I yeah, think yeah. It's like this. it was so, very, yeah. very nice and uh, a lot of people, a lot of young people. Yes. Beautiful, yeah. beautiful place. It's a special. I cannot see beautiful, beautiful. It's very special. The construction uh, was uh, built for the people without architect, without nobody, no, no, no permission, this, yeah. no anything. So you all take a place in the house, yes. I see there for Vielas, how, how yes. you say that in Spanish, uh, the, the little lanes, or I don't know in English neither, but we call a vielas in uh, Portuguese, the, the streets you go up. Exactly, and yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the same, so it's the same. Yeah, you get a lot the small and yeah. stretch. Quite, quite a nice, yes. a nice architecture. But the uh, people is very special. Valparaiso is the more important port in South America for many years ago. I remember that. I was seeing a lot of big, uh, big boats and yes, all exactly. these containers coming yes, container, by. Yes, container. We have a very nice. I, I start to work in there. Okay, so that's where where you start your uh, logistic uh, logistics exactly. life and. Yes, I I start uh, or my first uh, professional. I play football in Santiago Wonders, okay. the professional team in Valparaiso. It's actually the old professional team in Chile. Okay. I don't know. It's twenty, maybe one hundred thirty years. Very soon. Yeah. Uh, That's um, before Colo Colo, the the big ones nowadays. It's Colo Colo is more popular, but it's not the older. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So and I I have Wonders. So Don't say that. <laughs> <laughs> I had. Is it more popular? Or is the win more important uh, competence in uh, in Chile and South America? Yeah. But uh, I wonder. I I born in Valparaiso. I am from Wonder. Yeah. Yes. Now that's good, and it's nice to have a long longer history than uh, than the big big ones nowadays. Yeah. And Actually, uh, when I was child, my family is Colo Colo fans, so I was okay. Colo Colo fans. But when I begin to uh, start. A uh, player for Santiago Wander when I was 12 years old. You build up the. I know this history. I don't know Colo Colo. I know Colo Colo win or win or win, yeah, but yeah. I don't know this history. I I, I, I have coached so player in 1950, 1940s, and they learn us about the uh, Wander history. Yeah, and the culture. And yes, the, yeah. Wander is Santiago Wanderers. Why? Because they begin to go to England, play in England. This this team was uh, funded for uh, yep. English people. Okay. Therefore, it's wonders. Uh, wonders, yeah. 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 Uh, it's a very special place, very special people. Which position you used to play in the? Now I don't know. It's in third or fourth division. No, no, no. <laughs> but which position oh, me, you, me. you you I you play. Are, I start field. to play here. Uh, when I come to wonders, I play for in in in, in um, I don't know barrio. 
in El Barrio. Yes. Red with the in friend, the I played yeah. it like number 10, number 9. Okay. But when Forward I come to down. Wonders, I Be begin to play back, Be stopper. Back. Okay. And after stopper, Libero, like Elias Figueroa, yes. I love it because I have all the all the square. Yeah. I see every scene. And I Felipe Luis is a little bit in front of the defenders or a little bit behind? Behind, behind the behind defenders. the last one. Okay. I I have control. I it's between I, the defenders and the goalkeeper. Yes, I manage okay. mean my defense. Yeah, go to the left, go to the right, okay. keep your back, move, go front. Yeah, I love to talk yeah. a lot when I play. Okay. You were uh, captain as well. Probably, actually, yeah. when yeah, I was, so I have, I, I have more personality than the other guys. When I was upside in the, I, I, I showed me more. I yeah. don't know, my we're passion. Engaging, passion yeah. Yes, very passionate. I like. I don't yes. like to lose. I'm yeah. very bad the loser. Yeah. So that makes the be best player. But in wonder, and learn. I'm not too learn. Ah, <laughs> it's still. You can lose a lot, but still to, yeah, to yeah. receive and to accept that is different. Exactly. You, know? you can and be in a loser team, but no, don't accept that and try to be better. It's, uh, I, play a, I play a profession. I've come to play uh, one year. Um, actually, I prefer the first time of my life in Wonder when I was a junior. Yeah, yes. amateur or junior. Amateur, yeah. because you play with a dream. You want to play for play in the first team, yeah. right? But when you come there and you, you see the professional football in this time, yeah. it's very different it's today. quite dodgy. Yeah. Very, could, very yeah. different. 19 is one camera, yeah. uh, was completely different. Much time. less uh, yes, income yes. and money related. Exactly. But I think the shady things in the football were there already. Yeah, I but you know uh, what? I have I this preference for the, the son of the, the my best friend president. My friend yeah. My best friend is the football friend because everyone has the same dream, Yeah. right? Uh, you work together. You learn to work on team. I love to work on team. Yeah. Uh, a lot of my life philosophy come from the football. So I'm very happy of uh, this experience. was very experience, important yeah. in my life. And it's cool because in, in South America, the, being a football player is a really big thing. And I think in... Over ninety percent of the kids, uh, st until from now, they when they born, they want to be professional players, exactly. not just for the money, but for the yeah the, the daily basis as well. You wake up and you go training, and it sounds like good. Uh, exactly, we do for free, and it would be nice to do it for a good play good free, amount yeah. of money. Yeah, you never think about the money, but later, of course, everything changes. Uh, when I understand that it's not mother how much I work and it's no matter how much I did take my time for the football because it's a lot the factor upside in your hand. Yeah. So you think, wow, it's n this is not the best for me only. Um, I don't like go to the coach, say hey, coach. No, never. Yeah, I yeah. was always, I never talk about my uh, team friend, never. So yeah. I say, no, this is not. So no, I study, uh, I'm very, very happy because uh, I don't know what happened in, in this time. Yes, if you don't come to be a superstar, you never win a lot of money yeah. for the rest of your life. Yeah. So you have a lot of friends so cannot play a professional or was in finished career very early. And the life after football is very difficult very if you bad, don't have yeah. a study. Yeah. Right, so I say, 20 years old, I have a problem with my back. I have a very dangerous, I didn't know if I can come to have the same level. So I take the decision, you know what? I give everything with the football, thank you very much. But now I take the one. You went to study. Did you, do, did you study in Valparaíso? Yes. Was a, a logistics university there? This place is because of the whole logistic cluster? Because this of the, the terminal? Name, the name of the university I can cover today, but in this time, my career is not in university. Not anymore. No, okay. no in this time. Ah, okay. Now today you have engineer in uh, transport, engineer in uh, logistic. I study commercial exterior. Okay. International trade. Okay. And in this in this um, career profession, you come to be custom broker. If you, when you finish your career, you study, yeah. you can uh, apply for custom broker. 
you work to the stealth, to the custom. Yeah. Chilean custom. You can yeah. work in. Um, this was my plan. But when I start to work after in uh, SS, Escuela Superior Comercio Exterior, uh, Superior School, uh, High School of uh, International Trade, it's yeah. the name. And uh, you can go to different places. You can go to the bank, you can go to the custom office, or yeah. you can go to the transport, international transport for yeah. water, a uh, shipping line. Yeah. And I like this. I okay. like the port. I like the port, working there. Um, after two years, I moved to Santiago to the head office. Yes. I worked for an uh, American company, United uh, Botainer or Deca Deca Express, what's the okay. name? But it's an uh, American company. And uh, there are start in the office before I work in a port, supervisor container, load container. Uh, make the custom uh, import procedure or export procedure. Uh, I, l I learned a lot. Yeah. This was my university. I play football. All the guys working in the port is fun of Santiago Wonder. So yeah. when I hey, so hey, hey, go here, go, I learn a lot. Yeah. Oh, how you do this? Yeah. How you receive the cargo into the store? Ah, come me. I nice. show you. I go to the other side. Yeah. I learn, I learn, I learn. So. For, for those of ones uh, who doesn't know the, the city he comes from, it's around one hour drive to Santiago. One hour, yeah, exactly one, one hour. hour. I've been there, and uh, it's very close. So it's probably that's why the office, the main office, was in Santiago because you have the capital and things. So probably all the the shipments were coming to the port in uh, Valparaiso, Valparaiso and then Santiago. the ones were going straight. You have like a straight uh, train yeah, line have, connected. Yes. No, yeah. with the, the Western Road. The old okay, road, the no road, train. Uh, no now today train. we have train, but it's more for passenger, not for cargo. Okay, you, so you guys have the same problems as Brazil. Yeah, <laughs> Bec yeah, because in Brazil as well we don't use much the train, and that's kind of a no. It's, it's, it's a I kind of it's, a issue. We yeah. lost a lot of the grains in the road. It's I think it's over. I think it's very stupid because we have we have uh, an, an, an train uh, uh, way for yeah. from the north to the sur in Chile. So. It, it's more cheaper, it's uh, more green yeah. energy, right? I, okay. I, don't know I didn't know, that's quite interesting, I didn't know that. Because I know in Brazil the logistic it's a, is a problematic because we don't have enough uh, train, yeah. train oh, lines. I think you know, all South America, we have a very uh, bad uh, infrastructure yeah. facility, I, especially for the transport. I yeah. don't know, I don't know in Brazil, I never was in Brazil, yeah. in, in the port. But we have uh, a big one in Santos. Uh, yeah. I, I personally invest in this company called Santos Brazil, which they dominated the, the port there. Yeah. I think they have a 70% of the operation. Wow. And, and in the, in the Uni United States of America, they're very famous, uh, very strong economy because they have all these rivers through yeah, the country. Yeah. So they use the, the water uh, lines to connect. The and you see in Netherlands. are very lucky. In Netherlands. Yeah. Or, yes, in Netherlands. They use that in Chile, Chile in Brazil. Yeah. We have it, rivers and stuff, but they are not that no, it's not through the yet. whole country. <laughs> then yeah, yeah, it's kind of uh, oh, uh, nice sceneries in. Uh. All right, and then uh, we, we can have we got an uh, an idea of your uh, starting of life in Chile. When when did you decide to leave uh, Chile? So you were working in this uh, nice. Uh, you like the logistics. Yes. You're enjoying life and. When you got this spark and say, you know what, I'm uh, I'm out of here and uh, I want to see the world or no, you know what? I actually all my friends say I'm very loco, crazy. Okay, you because like the, the uh, roots in after uh, after after ten years in uh, logistic in Santiago, I work in the move or I come very high. I come to be export uh, management for a company. Yeah, uh, I have a very good salary. Good Actually, life. in this time, yeah, two, 2001, 2000, yes, 2001. Uh, car, house, uh, in the good place, to child. But uh, I don't like it the ingest in Chile, the okay. different of the people. Yeah. So I come for, uh, before I come to Norway, when I live in Chile, I believe it. I come from the medium class, yes. you know. But when I come here, I understand I was very poor guy. Yeah, 
when I understand, when I move to Santiago, when I begin to know the people so have money in Chile, so I say, what the fuck is this? It's real money. Yeah, it, like, it, yeah you see the people with the, the houses with four cars parking when the two persons live in the house. Yeah. Um, you see, but this guy is also Chile. Why this guy have so, so much? Yeah. When I moved to Santiago, when I bought my house, it's in the um, uh, condominium. Yes. In Villa, yes? It's and it's the, yeah. it's the road, so from Santiago to Valparaiso, but my house was very close to airport. Okay. My pool. Yeah. But another side is Pudawal, and it's a very, it's like favela. Okay. Right? It was just across. Uh, you could over the bridge, yeah. and you go, so I understand why the, I, I know support. The people are so teeth. Yeah, yeah. Right? But it's, But I understand uh, when you live in the other side of the of the road yeah. and you look the same, I think, why? Yeah. I used to eat, why I cannot have the same possibility? This is the problem. Yes. And in Chile, when you burn, already in the kindergarten, the people don't have money make the Sorry, difference. Yeah. Their English, our computer, and the guy is normal public school. We yeah. don't have the chance. It's, I and I completely understand because I'm from. You're the first South American guest I have in my podcast, yeah. so it's. A, I I think it's very similar situation as in Brazil, and uh, the chances of this rich kid to continue rich is extremely high, and the chances of the poor kid to to be rich are very low. Because uh, I don't know if that happens in Chile as well, but the rich kids in Brazil, they take the public uh, university places. Because it's very, yeah, yeah, they, 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 it's, uh, there is no many places for that study, many kids. Yeah. And so the best kids get that. that and the ones who study English, they study in this particular school. So it's, uh, it's a pattern, it follows and it's, it, it never changes. Uh, big handicap yeah. on, on the other guys. And here in Ori, you see it's very different, the approach, because they wanted to keep not everyone down, but like kind of everyone in the, in the same line uh, as yeah. possible. Of course, there's always people who make much more money than the others here, but you don't see that uh, screaming, big shout no. difference uh, as in, in Chile or in... Uh, exactly. This villa you used to live, you have the gate man, open the door of... Uh, it was again uh, no gun guns, security. No guns, no guns, but security is in the port. Cameras Take everywhere. The plate number, you live where you go. Call Cameras today, everywhere. Yes. And, yeah. Night house. People doing the garden, garden cleaning is the streets. Green, yeah. You know, yeah. the facility inside, football uh, square, uh, basketball, yeah. everything the guys need. Yeah. I grew up not not in a villa, but it was a building in, in yeah. Sao Paulo, and it was very similar. You know, yeah. having yeah. a. But this is the place I come from, Valparaiso. Valparaiso, I live in the top, in, in the mountain. Okay. So it was more, as the level was less. Okay. As, but uh, in Valparaiso, as higher you live, it uh, means you less you have it? Or, or like the houses close to the beach are more expensive? No, the, the, this, there is the, in, in my place, is, we, we live very far from the, the, from from the, the beach. beach. Yeah, okay. yeah. The, of course, the, the, the beach houses yeah. are closer to the beach. It's more expensive, more elegant, yeah. bigger. And then you have this beach on the side of Valparaiso. It's quite nice. I remember it was like yeah, a casino yeah, yeah, there. It's, what's the name? Uh? The, you have in Valparaiso, you have Torpederas uh, and San Mateo. Uh, Carvalho, this tree. No, no, but this famous, uh, maybe it's this city it's Vina del Mar. Vina del Mar. Yes, That's the, the, the Richie. Yeah, the I, remember, yeah. uh, I remember I was staying in uh, Valparaiso, but I was going to Vina del Mar and yeah. I was, the, was yeah, a big change. You see, the, uh, you see immediately. You yeah. see it was just a buzz and yeah. it would change a lot the, yeah. the perspective. But in the centrum, you see the big house, uh, the houses, yeah. the, this... Uh, uh, I don't know, a Spanish colony in, in Valparaiso, you have a, a barrio. You know what is barrio? It's yes. the place, in this place, a uh, neighbor place, is the English colony, for example, yeah. in Cerro so Alegre. So connected and... Construction yeah. is only English houses, big houses, mm. high, Colors, everything. style, yeah. Gran Bretagne is the same. You have a, a Spanish for another, another, but only in the start. Okay. When you begin to go up and then in the hills, now begin in the, the house... Big, uh, big south for the people, yeah. right? Uh, so, and then you were kind of, you were like, uh, let's not say political frustrated, but you were kind of, you wanted to see, 
something I, different than like did you choose Norway because they were famous to be this uh, successful uh, Scandinavian no, actually, political we, style you know, or your... I have an uncle do you know Pinochet dictator many yes, people yes, go I heard. Or leave, leave Chile I'm not um, I'm not sure about the whole history okay. but I, I studied that but yeah. I, I don't remember 1990 everything. is the uh, democracy come back in Chile okay in 1988 I already started training in the in the professional team yes. my uncle and my best friend come to norway they left uh, yes they okay. left chile in 1987 that was the pinochet time yes so it was pinochet a di day. dictator yeah and it was a dictator of, yeah. yes so a lot of the chilean people did in no chile free speech move. that kind no, of all exactly. that bullshit uh, yeah and in this time my father is, i have 18 okay. and you can leave your uh, your country like adult when you have 21 so 18 years old you need the authorization for your parents okay and my parents said no you stay why no we're in you the shit you stay play football, <laughs> or you go shit there or drink it or no no you have your life here you're a professional football player yeah. you have the future keep trying it's kind keep of here strong, wait yeah. oh, no I, okay so in this time one of my dreams was frustrated after 10 years, when I begin, so I don't like this life. My uncle, when I come to visit, tell me the life here. Yeah. It's quiet, no cheever, no people. Uh, uh, that was to 90, you say, right? 87. Okay. Uh, and I imagine yes, it was quiet. So uh, very still, quiet, yeah. very quiet, nice. Uh, you have opportunity, yeah. you can study, you shy, you don't need you because the state pay education, yeah. everything is for, you need to, you start to work seven o'clock, you finish three o'clock, and you have the rest of the day yeah. for your family. Oh, in Chile, I start seven, six in the morning, I finish six, seven, yeah. my, my child sleep in the morning, my, when I come back, I sleep. Yeah. So I never see, only in the weekend. So I think, you know what? I will talk with my uncle. I, you wanted to him, try. Say, Okay. Where, when he moved, uh, where where did he come? Arrive first in Norway. Which city was uh, he? Stavanger. Came? Stavanger. Stavanger. And that was the place you you moved My first, first in. Place. Oh, I love. Is Stavanger. it nice? Oh, I never man. been, but no. I see the pictures of the beach. The for me, it's the more beautiful. Mold is very beautiful. Yeah. But uh, for the mountain, they like more here. The mountain is far from the center of Stavanger. Right? Stavanger okay. is, is perfect. It's, it's not big. Beach. It's not yeah. small. I love the life. Stavanger is the oil city okay. in the old time, yeah. right? So a lot nationality. You meet people from Cosmo all Politan, around the world yeah. there. there okay. Venezuela, Colombia, Peru, everywhere. Mexico, Afghanistan, Iraq, everywhere. All these oil uh, countries and others as well. But I don't know you if in, in Brazil have uh, people is Muslim is a lot. In Chile, I never meet people with uh, like uh, Pakistan yeah. with the tour and never see before. Yeah, so see. I come to wow, what this yeah. was fun. Yeah, in Brazil we are a big, uh, not not a big mess, but we are big uh, a big mix, a big bowl of everything. It's yeah. uh, in Sao Paulo where I come from. It's it's crazy. How how did you okay you decided to come and you came but how was the the paperwork and the bureaucracy like uh, was did you were in a novel like almost uh, every everyone else in the podcast here <laughs> we have a lot of uh, funny stories but it's nice because your story is quite uh, back in the day so maybe it was very different and I see like from UDE which is the organization who looks after the visums and uh, and things here they are like stringing up the rules and making it uh, not more harder but uh, they are requiring more for for immigrants to stay like you are welcome to come and try but like if you really want to stay you need to get more more you know like uh, yeah. gushens like yeah. uh, check 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 it's it's more no, requirement this, I, I believe in this time was more relaxed Okay. The, the UDI actually, it was the UDI, UDI yes but the uh, police was the first filter okay Police to give you we check your police uh, background. Because when I, when I come problems. when I come to Norway, when I come to Norway, I come to Stavanger. I visit. Uh, I have the chance to work in Bilbao, in uh, okay. and line. So, but I like it here. When I come, I like her. So, I be here. I was separate or divorced from my first uh, when I was the reason. Yes. 
I she was Chilean, your, your yeah, first wife. Yeah. My, I have two shots. Um, when I come here, I meet uh, the mother of my daughter. Uh, we st- I, I come in 2001, 2000, no, finish 2001. So we meet, we start a relation, and she was pregnant. Uh, yes, she was pregnant, but after the my daughter born, we come back to Chile. Okay. Because I want to live there with my with my wife or my Norwegian wife and yes. my daughter and, and my child. How how long did you live this first? Uh, f- this One year, six months. One year, six years. months. You got By a wife. Same. You got a wife. You make a kid. <laughs> yeah. And then you went back to, chi- to yes. Chile. Yeah, well, why that? You didn't have. The I have a my, my work. When I come to Stavanger, uh, I don't like the language. I feel I okay. have a very yeah, bad. It's, it's tough to learn. Eh? It's and and impact was very hard. How long did you take to learn the language? Uh, wait, uh, this is weird. because okay. in this time when I meet her, she can't bitterly the Spanish. Okay, she was. Uh, I want to talk English for my profession. Yeah. Logistic, to right? Keep sharp I want and, to yeah. envelope my, my, my language in, in English. It's uh, very common to use a lot of English when yes, we arrive. She here. come perfect English. Yeah. So I say oh she say no. That's right. We live in Norway. We talk Norwegian or we talk Spanish. Okay, learn Spanish. She talk perfect Spanish. Okay. I Nowadays, <laughs> I didn't speak Norwegian no, for no, many. Your Norwegian is pretty good. Uh. I in Stavanger, I meet only Latin people. I play football, working with Latin people. I clean, clean at the office. That was your first school, job. My, clean, my okay. first job. I start to work immediately with my uncle. Next Got day, to, uh, work. So that was easy. Uh, the visa thing is easy because when you get a job, it's uh, yeah. But the visa, I, I had not visa. I had I received visa after when. Uh, uh, my 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 woman was uh, I with okay. with my, my woman right so uh, did the marriage the marriage visa or no the, marriage because uh, she was pregnant some some boy yeah like she was pregnant yeah. so actually it was my daughter is apply for me or need me she request gave, me she gave yes, you yes okay. she the father she, she allowed right? you yeah and we go to back to Chile because I have the work my work they wait for me yeah one and. How year they wait for me? You come you back. Knew, come you back, knew the life back. you you yes. could have there, and it's that crazy. But did, did you get the the parent leaving? Because that's a famous uh, it's a famous international benefit that Norway provides to to people to not to have kids here. But if you if you do have a kid here, it's very good, and you know now because yeah. of your grand grandkids. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Your son is you know yeah, you yeah. get this year free and. Yes. I had that a uh, year exactly. ago and it's three months. You did you get that from t- in in when you were time? in Chile? No, in Chile, no. But in the, in, now t- I believe in Chile. Some days to the father, okay. some day, but to maybe one week. I don't know. Not sure. But you didn't want. You didn't no, think about time, that. No. You just uh, went, no. went back. No, when I went back, well, I went to work. I I hope she like there. She didn't. Uh, she liked it the first time, but when uh, I need to move to Santiago, six million. It's a very different life yeah. and here. It's a stress, a stress, a stress, big stress, seed, yeah. stress very every big time. Seed, yeah. My work in logistics is more stress. And one day, six months in Chile, seven months, I start and, and, and I go to the, I, uh, I went to the court. I want the um, custodia. Uh, yeah, yeah, the custody. Responsibly for, for, for my child. The, yeah. I begin an, an, an case with my, my ex. Okay. Right? Um, but that time, did did you guys break up and she she went back to Norway? No, no. In she this time, they didn't think about the come uh, to. Yeah, uh, actually, it was the plan. But ah, in, you came inside, alone. Yeah, but in my inside, I want to take my child with my wife back. Okay. This was the plan. But when I was in Chile, started Chile, I hope she want to live in Chile. Okay. Okay. But after six months, one day we sit, drink a wine. I live in Viña del Mar. Yes. You see this big tower yeah. there, close to the beach, nice place. And she t- is asking me, uh, you want to live here? Yeah, 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 of course. Are you sure? I, I stop and say, why are you asking? Because I saw you more happy in Norway, mm-hmm. cleaning, and mm-hmm. here. Oh, I think, yeah. 
I stress, I don't live here. In Norway, I, I have a life. Yeah. Here, I only work. Okay? So I begin to start. Um, I have only one year because I leave Norway. I must come back to Norway in one year or I lose you all lose, the time. You lose the paper and yeah, yeah, everything. you have to start it again. And so we come back. We come back and I start, uh, I start with my child in Chile. We come back in 2004. When you ask me when you come to Norway, I come to Norway in 2004. You before, consider this before okay. was holiday, it's like a trial. Wife, Let's see, never a trial. read the yeah. language, never was interested yeah. in the culture. 2004, you did like full ah, Let's uh, here. Boxing of you did the school for the adults. Three months. I was in boxing of three months. Yeah, that's not enough. Uh, I begin uh, to work again. I must, I must to send money to Chile, so I have no work. And I in 2004, you came to Stavanger back. No. Back. That was this another time, city. she, my ex uh, wife, she was, uh, she applied for a work in Gosen, Aukra. Okay. It was she, a she, she, she was a gas the, worker. The small island there. Yeah, yeah. They have a big gas uh, production is in Gosen. Yeah, but uh, yes, exactly. Yeah. Gas, gas production. And uh, my ex wife, she is a culture uh, teacher, is a music teacher, okay. so, right? Oh, so nice. she applied for a director for the culture school in Gosen. In Gosen. And she, she had the right. Yeah. So when we come back from Chile, six million Santiago, February 2004, 35 degrees, and come to Gossip. Frena, yeah. minus 16, Fuck. dark, 3,000 people. I don't understand anything. Yeah. After two weeks, I will come back to Chile. And I was no, in a, a big depression. No. In this area, dark, it's, uh, man, in the dark time. Yeah, I know. Uh, uh, be, besides being dark, this uh, this is more like uh, let's say a countryside area. Yeah. So probably the people they 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 can do they can speak English, but they they don't want it. It's no. very clear to see they're not comfortable to do it. So it, that doesn't mean they don't want to talk with you, but it's very hard to to communicate because my, my you don't know the language and they don't want to put. Uh, exactly. They are uncomfortable to speak in English with you. So it's a very Awkward uh, conversation. Yeah, very hard. Is, uh, Concentrate yeah. when they talk. You try to understand something. It's very yeah. hard work. For and the dialect it, changes as well. If you see these frustrated. people who are more uh, more well traveled in yeah. in the city, they like uh, they when they speak with a foreigner, like an immigrant like us, they deliver the Norwegian a bit more clear, uh, yeah. a clear clear way yeah, to understand. Yeah, yeah. They use easier words and. Uh, Yes, it's exactly. This, uh, it's different, for example, when the foreign people or, or tourists come to Chile, for example, we try to, we try to understand. Yeah. We try to understand what you say. Oh, you try. The right? Hands and here, speaking direction, here start, maybe there. No, no. Here in the start, Kasede? Kasede? So you try to talk Norwegian, Kasede, or begin yeah. to look what at did you. What you say? What did you, yeah. Are you be frustrated. What what did you work in the, in the second time from 2004? What was your... I started working in uh, Ormelange, in the gas. Okay. But I worked in two surveying partners. Surveying partner was in company, so it's the hotel. Okay. It's the, the MOOB hotel. Okay. It's the camping, company. Yeah. Yes. And there I worked in, I started, it was very difficult to come inside, clean. But uh, Bunin... In Stavanger, I working with Bunin and Sheng the Sera, the yes. Bunin in the in the floor, right? Yeah. So I liked this work, actually. Uh, I start to work there. After two years, I study economy and uh, uh, account here, here in, in Norwegian, okay. in Norway, in, in Norwegian, uh, in, Nor in Norway or in Norwegian. In Norwegian. There's the, was very funny that's because hard huh? because now i'm studying what i'm doing in english but no i was i, I was very funny because uh <laughs> i work it clean yeah when i live in this time the nav yes you have two different office work office and house office three the contour and arbeid contour okay and which is the work uh, yeah work office in now the today is now both together yeah before was separate Right, so you go to the work people. There you can find ammo course. Six months, six eight months. 
it depends which education you have, you can take this course, right? So it's extension of your education? Or no extension, they, they probe to find something is more appropriate for according to you. your education, yeah. right? And you is show more how they do here in Norris so you'll be able to exactly. work and uh, economy, be more effective. Economy and account is different and clean. Right, yes, yeah. and my all my paper is education is re recognized in in Norway, uh, my study in Chile. So when I go to this office, I try to because Swiss uh, soldadores. Yes, uh, Wait, wait. I don't know that. Uh, yeah, well, in, in English, you, you, but they yeah. need a lot for this work in Orme language. Yes. So when I come, the gas company they need yes. these uh, people who can I give? Can you get this course? No. Why not? Because you are over qualification. Your education is for this course. Yeah. But I cannot climb because my language no was so good. So yeah. I can but I I clean. Yeah. It's better sedation and clean. I wanted to yeah. But they said no no no. After two years working there, clean uh, clean, I I thinking I can start to speak better envelope yeah. my practice, my origin. No, never you always work alone i work alone all the time yeah so i speak spanish in my house my child in 2004 i come back right in 2005 my child come back come to norway with me that's the two boys the and the two girl boy, and boys the and girl, girl was already here right and, yeah. yeah my girl this the younger is norwegian mother and the two child from chile chile my son come with 10 years and my daughter six years old okay. come here in 2005 and then uh, it's hard to see them how they develop the language quicker <laughs> than you are. Huh? So in in a I house, see this those uh, the immigrants kids when they come the the pace they get the language is three months begin to ten times generation. quicker than the parents and that's three uh, months yeah. for start to. Speak I didn't have Norwegian. that because my kid now he's he's learning <laughs> no. how to speak already in Norwegian. You know. But you talk is the English. I do I, Spanish uh, with him uh, at home. With the, no, Spanish. Spanish. Because my wife uh, she speaks Spanish as well. Oh, okay. So since we moved here from Very Australia, nice. we decided Spanish is the Perfect. house language, and with the kids, yeah, we do the same. But uh, me too. In my house, never talk Norwegian. Yeah. If I am there, but my child begin to talk Norwegian sh together after two months. They Very begin to and, change yeah. the language like this yeah. or begin to talk all in Norwegian then. It's nice because they never forget the Spanish neither, so it's... Uh, but I talk, no, no, yeah. no, they they much to hold because the the, the, the little girl, the, young, the younger girl, yeah. she had only two years. So I talk Spanish with her. She, when she was four years old, she talked both yeah. language in the side level. She That's can... Amazing. When my, my When my mother come here, they went to Christian soon. And my ex-wife go to the meeting, and my my mother with my daughter go to the. She uh, was the translator for. She was translator. Nice. Come the people, and she was like this, right? And so people talk with my mother. Do you need something, blah blah? Oh my my mother. This is to my daughter. Oh, yeah. Yes. Oh my oh my daughter say abuela. Tú estás preguntando si tú puedes quieres comprar algo. She take no, dile que no necesito. No, we look only looking. Oh, That's man. amazing. You yeah. see. <laughs> Translator for four years old. Yeah. She speaks English, Spanish, French. She learns South. She's learning okay. Mm -hmm. That's nice. She likes so. But in this time, when I start to work there, uh, I ask it for course all the time. Yeah. When I took so you're pushing up uh, to all get the time. Uh, that's good. And the last time was very funny because I take all my child, the three. Yeah. In the office. I already I already divorced with my wife in origin okay. wife. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I go to the Arbeid office, Arbeid Couture, say, okay, now you have authorization for climb, for show, for make the help inside of the office. Because I want to press to this woman. Okay, ah, so you took the kids you to make, the... You make the help here. No problem. Are you sure, Papa? Yeah. yeah. So like, yeah no, no. Game so time. The, the guy, the, yeah, <laughs> game time. And the old woman begins to be nervous. So, uh, I don't ask it for a, um, uh, appointment. I just come. Yeah. Hey, I need the course. Blah, 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 blah. The same. When she comes, I waiting for this sentence. But you are over qualification for this. Yeah. Right. When she say this, I have. Uh, have this speech <laughs> already? I start yeah. talking speech, when yeah. I say yes. Okay. So you believe I over qualification for. Account, Why I'm not, but uh, I have no qualification for you clean your ass. 
What are you talking about? Yeah. Oh, but you don't have a Norwegian course. Uh, what talking with you? I talk in Spanish, in English, or what? You know? Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. So I was conditional to start this course, but I was whoosh, come back to my company. I present. Okay, now you begin to work in the office. I begin to work in the office yeah. like uh, assistant of the economy. Department, Boss, yeah, department. Nice. So I, I have responsibility for all the people who clean the time, the okay. permission, the sick time, everything. I are doing it. all the yes. working ar arrangements for the cleaning, exactly. cleaning team. After two years, when the project was finished, I applied for brain logistic. It's the post. It's the yeah. uh, uh, I start my logistic career in Norway. There, okay. after seven, eight years, I go to Moxie. It's a caterpillar truck. Yes. I make an um, logistic or uh, I I make a uh, new solution for all the transport uh, ne necessary. Yes. And uh, after one year, I have a very good uh, result there. I go to Brumbo. And now Brumbo. working there 10 years. 10 years in Brumbo. Which is a very big, uh, for th those ones who doesn't know, it's a very big company in Molde, one of the biggest, I would say. And they do those uh, trusters. They are spe yeah, specialists forces, in yeah. trusters, which is a big... Uh, Cruise, big ship, container yeah. ship, uh, tank ship, uh, but mm -hmm. for a small too, for fish, for yeah. everything. We are very interest, uh, interested in the green energy. We have an uh, electric uh, apartment too for, for electromotor and... We have very. You guys don't do company. the aeolica. The yes. You do that as RT, well there. Yes. Okay. RT, yes. Oh, we that's have amazing. Yes. Wow. So. It's I the main sponsor. Work. Yeah, it's the main sponsor of the football club here as exactly. well. It's a big sponsor for, many for years, the. For many, many years. All the football club, which is a very successful club, a uh, local club as well. That's not, I think you should, you are a good uh, profile too. You should teach uh, some logistics. Maybe not have the whole subject, the whole fag, but maybe have a week uh, seminar, you know, for the, I will talk with the logistic uh, teachers I know mm. there. And uh, I think you would be a good, uh, good profile. I, I, I was, uh, I was mentor for two guys from high school. Okay. For, you were already, uh, they, yeah. they know me. Yeah. They know me. They know me. I think so because yeah, I think you would be a good guy to to give a week of uh, your your specification about yeah, this international it's commerce and it's uh, different there because there is more uh, material administration. Yeah, the logistic study. Ah, the whole course itself, but yes. it would be nice for them to have a week to have this like a yeah, little yeah. outside of the look for the side of the window exactly. see maybe I could go for that line. You know, I don't yeah. have to stick with the what they teach me here. There's when I ask the guys who come there, so. I was a master in logistics. Yeah. The doctors. How, how, how long is the 20 foot container? Uh, I don't know. Are you master in logistics? How many cubic meters you can load inside? No, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> so I just the signed the <laughs> pay. <Yeah>. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, very good ni uh, guys, nice yeah. guys who learn. Very interesting. I, yeah. I like the people who want to learn, asking you. Yeah. Very nice. It's, uh, the university I'm doing now, my master is in sports, but they are the, they are famous. Uh, yeah, very of logistic, famous. From uh, Netherlands, the China, Korea, no, uh, Of course, this is very high. Because Norway, it's uh, well connected uh, to yeah. the ocean. It's those coastal countries, they are. Yeah, the, for this, for this, I believe in this way, they are very good in solution. Yeah. A lot. You, you see the geography in Norway is very difficult. It's like in Chile. They have long, yeah. a lot of canal. So a lot of mountains. Yeah, and, mountain, yeah. small weight. Yeah. So it's very similar in Chile. So uh, I think uh, my experience in Chile was very positive for my experience in Norway. In Norway, yeah. Mm -hmm. In Norway, uh, in Chile, I was working very love with the road transport. But okay. in Norway, I in my start to what only road transport. Only road. Okay. So I now I can take. Uh, you can go all water, the bar, yeah, all yeah. the bar, Tra uh, road, uh, ocean, air project. Yeah. Nice. So I was very lucky. Yeah. I, I am very lucky, man, because the, you know what? I think something. I like the problem. The problem for me is a challenge. Yeah. When you finish, you learn, 
and never more is a problem. But if you said, no, this is difficult to, I don't want to take, you never learn. Yeah, I don't get enough for that, and yeah, that's something sometimes I say and I shouldn't, but I don't get enough to to go that deep. Wow. No, I like that. That holds your successful, I can tell you. I can tell you that because that happens with me sometimes. Yeah. During that time you were pushing the course and things, you, you never struggle in Ori, right? Because in I, Ori, I, ha- I haven't met anyone who, who re- really struggle, you know, like we have different hard times with the paperwork or I think can be annoying. With the, with and the nationality. We can, sometimes you can feel a bit uh, underestimated by them or stuff, but struggle, it's something no, she, I never heard in the podcasts and I think it's... Uh, but I, I, for example, when I, when I, I, I try to apply for my, my child, Right, I was here with my Norwegian woman, my child. Also, I I have the responsibility. I play to Uday in November yeah. 2004. My child come to Norway in February 2005. Four months. All the process come very very fast. I I, I don't believe it because I have a friend. He's from Cuba. He has a child in Cuba, in Cuba and and I seen the song was. Five, six year old. Okay. The mother dead for cancer. Norwegian and mother. No. No. Cuban okay. mother. He he dead there. Yeah. But he must to wait two years to get the paper and uh, for the paper. So it's depends. She, I know Chile and Norway have very close. Chile have an international uh, agreement. Yes. EFTA. EFTA in EFTA. This is commercial. Okay. In commercial, but also social or integration. Okay. So therefore, I believe, yeah. for example... In Cuba, they are a bit in the political, like this... But it's not only Cuba. Public, public relations, they are a bit more uh, yeah, yeah, closer. I, and I I say Peru, that. Ecuador, or, or Mexico, the same problem. Yeah, for ma- for so me, it wasn't, wasn't fast. Uh, I took a f- was a one year and a half to mm-hmm. get the paper... Uh, you see? As, as a, yeah. I use four, four months, three months. So I, and very, very, very quick. So sometimes they reject. I still reapplying. I'm not uh, permanent. So sometimes they reject it. Then I call them and say, But now. Man, my wife is still. I still sleep with my wife on the side of the bed. And now I have a <laughs> Norwegian kid, man. You can't get yeah, away. Yeah, no, no, no. And then since I moved here, I, I did my paperwork as a Portuguese citizenship. Yeah, you have that. As well, so it's kind of and now I have a contract as well. It's like if you want to kick me out as a Brazilian, I stay yeah. just working as a Portuguese, or oh, yeah. maybe I stay as a Brazilian and father of a Norwegian. <laughs> you, know? you choose the character you want, you know, but I'm staying, you know, yeah, if yeah, I yeah. want it. So yeah, it's quite right. uh, quite cool. And what, what do you we are um, almost to the end, let's say, but one, one thing you really when you go back to Chile for holidays to visit your family, or things. Mm-hmm. What is one thing you miss most from Nori? It's like for me, and you say like this is here. It's the the highlight. That's w- one thing, a topic he holds me uh, for so long, and I don't want to try something else. I'm very comfortable here because of that. Or safety, the safety, yeah. Quiet. So so don't worry about like a big gunshot. No, I think I I be more um, farmer. I be I. I, because I live all the time. Yeah. So Valparaiso, you know, is uh, yes. two million, two and a half million. Santiago, six million, seven million. And it's quite uh, yes, yeah. together, stress, a traffic Trench. or everything is. You don't know where you run, but you run. So where are you go? Yeah. But you go. The people take you from back. And um, here is relax. Here, uh, I live in. in Close to the mountain here yeah. too, so Forests. natural uh, mountain. Good air, good water. Relax. Yeah. I so the pace is yeah, one the thing. Pace. The pace of. Uh, uh, of course, in the first time when I come to Chile, it's very funny because the first time I really did scared. So you, yeah, you are you have a long time without ah, the people from soul in the street yeah. or you have the to sober, be aware, yeah. yes, the cows, eyes everywhere. Yes. And, uh, in the first, I need two days for okay. I know I home. I yeah. relax there. Yeah, yeah. But the two first days is like yeah. wow. One right? thing, one thing. My father used to say to me, and I think it, it fits for all big cities. It's uh, olho vivo, e peli, peli gero. Uh-huh. It mean uh, eye alive and uh, quick, quick fit. So yeah. you have to be aware what's going on, and if the shit uh, hits the fan, you you have to to go f- 
get out. Yeah. You know, if uh, it's a fight going on, there's a knife come out, so a gun. Uh, it's not things happen every day in São Paulo in Valparaíso, but uh, it can be if you know uh, if you're unlucky absolutely. and uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. and here also can happen, but uh, the chances are uh, drastically low. Maybe in Oslo sometimes yeah. in some place, but uh, normally it's uh, yeah. So you're happy here in Norway as an I immigrant? Like. In, uh, I, I, I it's my option. I hear for my option. It's not uh, I must to be here because I don't have another chance. Yeah. Man. I at this and uh, Norway was my um I very happy for my my shows. I I my child grow up here. I know my son is seven twenty seven, he working like a uh, program to robot size robot in uh nice. Astero. My daughter is the mechanics engineer to uh what is it? It's my competitor, Consker Marine. Okay. Yeah, it's competitor. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, no working uh, talk much at no. all. <laughs> we don't work. You give me the intelligence. No, no, no. Espionage, espionage, yeah, espionage. She lives in Oslo. <laughs> and my and my younger daughter, she lives in Oslo. She studied dance. She okay. loves dance. Nice. So nice. Do you see yourself moving away from Norway in the future, like uh, maybe back to Chile or? You know, it's very maybe difficult. like you see yourself no. these old fellows like living in Florida in no, this kind of boring no, if, place. If, uh, yes, I sometimes I maybe south of Spain or Greece, uh, Portugal actually, Portugal. Yeah, okay, Portugal or or Spain. Yeah, maybe Croatia. I don't know. I don't know. Like a I, bit I, a I, bit warmer, but Italy, when like retired yes. and closer to Norway, so I can Amsterdam. Can, why not? Come, I don't know. Yeah, the port back, Rotterdam. Yeah. I don't know. But now, actually, I, s I am very comfortable here. Yeah. Um, Happy with the work, future me. Lifestyle. I, I, I believe now I'm my child, my grandchild, and yeah. I hope come more, more it's nice to be closer. So my family yeah. is here, so yeah. I cannot move to Chile. Yeah. In Chile, I have my family, my friend, but you, you, you know, so when you yeah. move, move your away. friend, Still your family, life. but yeah, yeah, yes. it changed a little bit. Uh, things, uh, yeah. I hope in the future maybe I have the house. So my plan is pay the house when I retire. Yeah. My pension, my house rent because yeah, I rent, rent it. I maybe to live eight months in the warm place. Then this, come back to summer. Portugal. I don't need a fast place. I yeah. can live one year, so six months in Portugal. Another year, six months in Spain. Yeah. Another, and come here with my my child. And that's one uh, nice thing. Uh, the logist. I have a friend. Uh, he's now in uh, Copenhagen. He's a banker, kind of a lawyer, banker and stuff. But his uh, wife, his girl, it's uh, logistics. She works for the 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 H L. DHL. Yeah. DHL. And she was working in Valencia. And now she, when he got the job in Copenhagen, she could change it very easily. And it's uh, yeah, it's yeah. nice how the opportunities to. To yes. move around when you know you Especially have this when knowledge, you can learn the language. So if I go to Spain, be, I be very interested for the Scandinavian market because I can talk Spanish, I can talk yeah. English, I can talk Span Scandinavian. But language. most of the paperwork it's basically in English, English for this, yeah. yeah. Those yeah, uh, yeah, for yeah, those things. Uh, Even in export export doc document is the country language. Okay. So uh, it's export document from Spain come to in Spanish. Okay. A lot uh, because uh, we have a contract uh, or customer in Mexico, Mexico Marine. Yeah. And uh, all the contract is in Spanish. But and then you always have like a translator of course, uh, uh, department, Spanish, let's yeah, say. Yeah. 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 Okay. But uh, of course, the language or you have more language, it's more interesting for the company working international transport or nice. international trade. Nice. Yeah. And uh, if you want, if you want to say something to people who's watching us right now. To give like a, a tip, a little, make their way easier to immigrate. What what do you say to them? Uh, what should they focus on when they move to a new country? Or I will use a uh, famous sentence of uh, Bruce Lee. Okay. I use for my actually I try to use in my life. Yeah. Be water. Be water. Okay. Adapter. Yeah. You cannot come to the other country and your um, weight. But the other people respect your behavior, your yeah. because you come here. Open you the mind a bit, and you uh, need to adapt. Yeah. You need to accept like the language. Water, yeah. is the first kid, if yeah. you don't speak, 
be very How long did you take to learn uh, the Norwegian? Uh, you I have lived almost 20 years, 15? No. <laughs> no when, when you feel like, uh, no, nah, my Norwegian... Seven it's, years. Uh, seven years took it. Okay. Maybe seven years, yes. I or took more. It for, for now, I think, because I work in a meeting with yeah. the region, with management, so I feel more comfortable after the people never asking more because I do. Cassie. When I can talk, yeah, yeah, yeah. other people say yes or no, I agree or no, I agree. Yeah. But before was always, because I do, do. what do you say? What yeah, do you say? Yeah, what do you say? And this was for maybe 10 years ago. Okay. So actually, I used it 10 years for speak fluently. Yeah. Um, I make mistake when I talk now. Yeah, no, but that's, uh, know, no that's not my a, pronunciation yeah. is perfect. And it's funny because the but Spanish, you start to lose. Sometimes you you mix the things in there. Yeah, I do yeah. that as well. A lot with the Spanish and the Portuguese. And sometimes people ask, oh, what's that word in Portuguese? And it takes so much for me to come because it's like, yeah. I don't know, I haven't used this word in Portuguese for so long and just doesn't come in my mind. Some fruit or... Yeah, so another thing is funny. someone think or have the plan come to Norway, uh, they need to they need to know that Norway is the one of the more safe place country in the world. Yeah. Uh, social system support the people uh, is a lot of opportunity if you want to work. And uh, I have never feel racist in yeah. Norway. Never. Me neither. It's uh, but. I know you find motherfucker. Ah, there is stupid the people Chile, yeah, Brazil, everywhere. Yeah. In every country, right? It's about lucky or unlucky if you cross them. Or I not, don't listen. It's not my problem. That's the problem. We, we, we maybe problem. we why? maybe why? cross many of them, but it's the point if it's if you don't care, they even uh, take it easy be with you because they know it's, uh, it's your problem, not my problem. Yeah, it's helpless. It's like oh, right. man, you I don't can know be a me why you eat me because I have another color. Yeah. Or I come to other land, other country. I don't can speak your language perfect. Yeah. Why? But uh, this this is you is your concentrate is what the people think about you. What the, you can be very frustrated. Yeah. Or you can have problem, or maybe you won't work here. I think it's um, the dark time. You must to know as here hard. maybe yeah. you have six months without sun, without light. And when we come for the country, in the first five years, I know what's important for me. Yeah. But after five years, when October come, my body feel. Yeah. Now you what do you do now? You travel around, you go out outside, mountain. All the time I move to the house of the big Windows, so yeah. the lights come no, comes almost in, all the time. The little light, it comes, you, you exactly. enjoy it as so much as you can. So these two, three hours, the light I have, I outside. Yeah. In the Make mountain, sure, yeah. yes. Take this um, yeah. B vitamin, of course. Yeah. Uh, the pills, yeah, we take it. Yes, omega-3, I, I think I take omega-3, vitamin D, and, and I do that. magnesium yeah. in the night. I do those it's, 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 it's important. And uh, Norway is a very, very beautiful country. And yeah. uh, social, I think, is perfect. If the Norway have weather a little more hot in three months, then that would be too good. Huh? In the yeah, yeah. And like this good. will be full of other It would be too crowded as yeah. well. So that but, would uh, now I think everyone's welcome, but not everyone. Come <laughs> some of you. Some of you are welcome, not everyone. <laughs> Stay in your place. Otherwise the place. <laughs> no. No, it's, uh, it's not for everyone. I, I mean, no. A lot of people in the channel, they follow because I, I post... Uh, the podcast but i also do the the vlogs when i go around i take the camera and show how is it and people say oh how you can live in a place so cold and i was a, I'm, I'm i like to surf and things i'm not doing quite often here because of the weather and people ask me and i say ah that is this the bad bad side of the country you could say but you still can do snow sports which are very yeah. nice but uh, the upsides no propose and offers it's much i think o overtake this uh, mm. bad part but i yeah, think i think norway is a country for family if you are single or you single you go out to party to you meet do, and yeah you like it's no, not a good place forget this is not the place Too expensive, we have two restaurants we have one place to dance all too the many music, rules all the time yeah. some music so if you have but if you if you like on uh, nature you like uh, upside yeah. you like 
be you. And you're more setting up a uh, family, like starting a family, this marriage. A that's place. a good place. Yeah, this that's exactly place. what my stage now, and I'm yeah, I'm very happy as well. It was amazing to, to have you, Jamie. Thank you so much uh, for the presence. Thanks for invitation. Man. Pleasure. It was, very, uh, pleasure. It was very nice. Uh, the tips. I really like the thing you talk in the end about the be water. It's uh, to the adapt adaptability you have to have you need to have it in uh in a matter to succeed in a Everything. foreign country it's uh, i see all of all of the people i interviewed they they very successful as immigrants they came and they have their little struggle that not struggle but they have a little novel with the paper and thing but everyone was happy during that even and they enjoy uh, the good thing and you are not the one who, who bring that no i was, am very happy it will be here was a nice to have us first South American guest because before it's I have a, I have Australian. I don't know if did you watch some of the episodes? No, no. You can maybe check later if you have okay. time. You can put when you go walking and uh, I show the channel later. And uh, thank you again. No problem. Uh, no, thank you for coming. Sorry for the beginning of the week. We have a little uh, miscommunication with the booking, but it was all good. And I hope <laughs> you guys really enjoy the Jamie. See you guys. With Jaime, us. Jaime. Jaime. Jaime Galdames. Jaime from Chile. Jaime is from only Chileno, for Norwegian because Chileno. they cannot say Jaime. Jaime. This is the problem. Everyone knows Jaime, for yeah. Jamie because they... The yeah, hot it's American there. style, but yeah. <laughs> Jaime Galdames from Chile. Um, chico muy guay. Espero que te hayan gustado. Please leave your like, comment, and uh, subscribe to the channel. See you guys next time. Thank you so much. Adiós, guys. Adiós. Buenísimo. Oh, man, man, perfecto, hombre. Gracias. ¿eh? Sí, perfecto. Okay. Hacemos primero unas... Con, que después una voy, voy a pegar la foto. Yeah. Así que para hacer la, la, la thumbnail. Yeah. Así que vamos a hacer como, como si fuesen unas fotitos. Distintas. Surf, yeah. Es, yeah. es vídeo, más después pega tú la foto. Vale, y, vale, vale. Solo para poner en la capa del vídeo. Yeah. ¿Listo? Preparado. Vamos entonces. 3, 2, 1.